welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Uktaya of JSA, and joining me here in fabulous Honolulu, Hawaii, PTC 2018, my good friend Mike Jonas. He is the president of global customer relations at Light River Technologies. Mike, welcome to JSA TV again. Great to see you again. We should do this more than once a year. I know. This is our PTC reunion here. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I'm glad of it. Me as well. Me as well. And for our viewers who may not already know, and they should at this point, but just in case, give us a little bit of an overview of Light River and its services. Yeah, you bet. So Light River has been in business 20 years next month. So uh, we've been um, striving to be the leader, uh, leading integrator for transport networks, for software controlled transport networks. And lately the model towards disaggregation is playing directly into our wheelhouse. So have, uh, have developed in support of that, a multi-vendor optical lab, um, a network factory designed specifically to put together packet optical networks for the global cloud players, for utilities, and for the tier one and tier two carriers. So it's been working great so much so that we've added uh, software domain control and SDN optical controller to that portfolio and uh, are moving forward. Yeah, you're talking about all the hot topics of the day. So we're loving uh, how you guys just keep on, on point and moving forward. As a matter of fact, last, uh, last time you were here at JSA TV, you made big news in the industry when you acquired Unique Computer Services, and that was about a year ago. So what can you tell us about that acquisition, the latest development since then? I know you're, again, on point. Well, absolutely. So uh, in keeping with our model, we're trying to make sure that these software-controlled networks, they are going to be the future, they're the current. And so um, we have this habit of listening to our customers. <laughs> uh, it's a bad habit, I know, but it's, we- it's, it's very rare these days. <laughs> we, we happen to think they know a lot about their business. Mm -hmm. And so it, you know, in our mission to provide them best of breed technologies for the business issue they're trying to solve, do it more quickly, reduce that risk, um, they've all adopted and become very comfortable with the factory built model, where we take the risk out, where we shorten the cycle, where we enable the adoption and integration of new technologies. Mm -hmm. So they opined. They are all very, very eager and, and believe in the promise of SDN, mm -hmm. but I've been a little disillusioned in the pace of its, of its rollout. Right. And so uh, as, as they uh, discussed that with us, they said, if only you had a factory built network solution for software. <laughs> so we got one. And that, that was the acquisition for Unique. They're, they've been in the business also 20 years deploying um, software platforms that are multi-vendor, multi-generational, and um, intuitively obvious, if you're in the optical transport space, that domain controller makes sense. So not only do you get the technology, you also get the expertise. Well, and that's it. So we've built the company now, um, in addition to the factory, in addition to the lab, in addition to our optical domain controller, we've got 100 professionals, highly skilled professionals that are focused on nothing but transport. We don't get distracted by IT, we don't get distracted in Wi-Fi, we don't do the things that so many others do, but we stick to our knitting and as a packet optical specialist, we make a real difference for them in their business. I love that. So how do you see that Netflix and factory built network solutions moving forward come uh, 2018? Well, so uh, over the holidays, due to demand, we had to reconfigure our factory. So we uh, added about 50% capacity to the factory. So we grew uh, our ability to build large national networks. Uh, we have an area specializing for regional and metros. And now we've actually also added a, an area where we can um, package uh, VNFs mm -hmm. into some of the uh, server hardened servers for our utility customers and white boxes for, uh, for some of our more commercial customers. So it's a, it's a big expansion there. On Netflix, perfectly in keeping, it's deployed in our factory, so uh, our customers not only get hands-on their own equipment in the, in the factory process, but now they can get an eye on how to manage that across multiple uh, product domains, multiple uh, vendor domains. And we'll be adding um, enhanced Linux capability this year, oh. and that will make our product a bit more consumable for larger and smaller customers. Right now we have clients anywhere from 100 nodes up to hundreds of thousands of nodes, so we have 600,000 nodes currently under management. Um, we'll make it much more consumable by moving uh, into the Linux um, platform. Yeah. And that'll give us some other options as it comes to access, gives us uh, some mobile activity, and the opportunity to even host this for some of the smaller customers who may not be quite ready to have their own instance. I like that flexibility, that, and that's uh, true to your DNA. So what other exciting developments are on the horizon for Light River next year? 
Well, so we are expanding further in Europe. Uh, we are de deploying networks uh, for several of the global data center and cloud players. So uh, that's going to continue and, and we're going to grow that delivery team there. Additionally, we are looking uh, with our NetFlex product to light up our own channel partners in Europe to help start bringing that message, again, specialized to the local market, to the, uh, to the carriers and the, and the data center players there in, in the EU. So that's big. Um, we'll be deploying a lot more new technology to the next generation technology in the optical space it keeps on coming. So, so C plus L rotoms, uh, 400 gig networks, those are coming. And then in our utility customer base, we'll be doing a lot more um, betas initially on how they might take uh, operational, utility operational virtual network functions and start removing those dozens of boxes in their substations and, and securing them in, in, in that new shell that's going to be so, pre so prevalent in the next five or ten years. Definitely a company that's helping us in uh, enabling us to uh, keep up with that high bandwidth demand. Light River Technologies. Mike, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Very good. My pleasure. Good to see you. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV.